if i have something in my bucket let's suppose i have a number of objects in my bucket and i and i want whenever i try to open the object it should only be open in https that is the secure transport it will not open with http so for that we have to work on the permissions where we need to go to the bucket policy and we need to set one of the bucket policy so there is something which we are going to learn today so i have created one of the bucket that is with the name of secure transport bucket and right now we can see that the bucket is completely empty there is no object okay fine the next thing which i need to do i need to go to the permission okay and here i have couple of options like block public access access control list bucket policy so i'm going to work with the bucket policy so let me click on the bucket policy here it is asking me to generate a policy policy for the bucket so what i need to do is first i need to copy the arn of the bucket okay and let me keep it somewhere somewhere so i have pasted it here and after that what i need to do is i need to click on the policy generator now once i click on the policy generator it will open a new tab and it will open something like this where it say aws policy generator and i have few type of policies here if i am going to see i can create im policy sns s3 bucket sqs vpc so right now i am going to work with the s3 bucket policy so let me click on that now here it is asking me to add statement okay we are not going deep in all these things but i will try to cover each and everything in very brief so if i'm going to select the effect allow or deny so that means what kind of permission i need to give if i'm going to select the deny so that means there is no permission and if i'm going to select allow that means they can access it now in the principle principle is something which is uh, generally for the users if i need to give any particular user access then i can mention the arn the user arn here okay again it's not the user username which i need to give here it's the complete arn arn means the amazon the source name which i need to give it here but as of now we are creating this policy for the public so i am going with these char options so that means it has access for everyone next we have the service aws service so we have selected the s3 bucket policy at the top so it is only showing me the s3 and the option is grayed out i'm not able to select if i'm let's click on this okay it is not showing me any other option because i have selected the s3 bucket policy okay so that is the default aws service that is the amazon s3 now i have the action so i need to select the action i can go with the all the actions see it's given the star option here or i can select a individual option here so we need the get object okay so let me select this thing and here we have the amazon the source name arn here i need to put my bucket arn so this is my bucket arn let me copy it let me put it now here we have the option for the add condition okay this is a optional option but if we want to use it in our case we need to use this option so i'm going to click on the add condition so here it is giving me three things condition key and value so if i'm going to click on the condition it has n numbers of uh, you know parameters it is showing so i can go with any of the parameter but right now i'm going with the boolean value if you are not sure what exactly the boolean value is you can click on the more detail where you can get idea about this thing in the key we have to select the secure transport so we have n number of options here so we can you know select any but right now we have to work with the secure transport so let me select the secure transport and i'm going to give true value here so whenever the boolean value is true or whenever the boolean value is equal to the secure transport this thing will work otherwise it is not going to work so let me click on the add condition we have the condition here and let me click on the add statement and here i'm getting the option to generate a policy now let me create a policy see we have the policy created now let me copy the policy let me close this thing and let me go to my s3 bucket in the bucket policy here i need to make sure there is no space in the start so let me paste my policy here now once i am click on save it will give me error message so let me click on the save and let's see the error message the error message is action does not apply to any of the resource in the statement so why we are getting this error message because in the resource name where we have our s3 bucket 
we are telling the s3 bucket we but we are not telling what exactly in the s3 bucket we have to use so we have to use something like this or if we have any folder where we have our data which we want to uh, you know open only in the https so we can give that folder name here if we don't have the folder name we can just simply click on this so it will take everything whatever there is in the bucket it will open only in https so let me click on save so we have our bucket policy created okay now go to the overview and upload something here now let me click on the upload click on the add file and here i have one of the file index.html let me open it let me upload it so now i have uploaded my file over here so let me click on my file and just scroll down click on the file again just scroll it down and get the url so here we have the url let me click on this let me try to open it in a private tab so in cognitive mode i'm going to go okay now the address start with http s okay that means it's a secure transport so let me open it here i'm able to open it now let me try to open the same page without the option https only with http so let me open it see here i'm getting the access denied okay thank you